acne color wise cancer color wise it's not necessarily like that but when you see a cell that looks like it has like extensions there's something wrong with that cell so that's why when doctors look at your cells it's kind of obvious to them when they see something that's out of the ordinary and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what it looks like all right so a lot of these notes the majority are uncovered okay so you really just got to pay attention cancer this is these are your cells right here and it, it's literally labeled normal cells normal cells function like perfectly they literally tell each other it's time to reproduce when something happens they make a new cell and these lines of cells are perfect rows perfectly organized when one is missing they replace through what how do cells get replaced through mitosis or through the cell cycle which includes interphase mitosis and cytokinesis yes these are body cells if they were sex cells it would be meiosis which we're going to learn about later when your cell goes through interphase and it goes through the checkpoints and something goes wrong like the replication of dna is wrong or um the reproduction of organelles is wrong then you've got a cell that has the wrong coded information and it starts to reproduce uncontrollably where cells are supposed to say hey stop reproducing or hey make a new cell cancer cells don't listen to any of those signals so the this is what cancer looks like uncontrolled growth of cells and that's basically what the definition is i would say that's what a tumor looks like right uncontrolled growth of cells if it's cancerous they call it a malignant tumor you have to know these words so if you want underline here underline the word malignant underline the word tumor you can add the word tumor to malignant cancer is a malignant tumor non-cancer is a benign tumor so you can have a tumor in your body which means doctors examined you through a sonogram or through an ultrasound or through some kind of scan or something and saw a ball of cells that look like they shouldn't be there that's a tumor the next thing they're going to do is say let me check and take a sample of this tumor to see if the cells are cancerous or they're going to monitor the tumor to make sure it doesn't grow because sometimes you have a tumor and it's just there and nothing happens oh. so what causes cancers one of the, the or the main thing that happens to cause cancer is a mutation during cell division look at what phase is this metaphase, metaphase. look what happened in metaphase the spindle is supposed to pull apart the chromosomes right and half go to one side, half go to the other. Do you see the green chromosome? It went to one. So this cell is missing a piece of chromosome. This cell got an extra one. So now you have two cells that have the wrong code. And they're going to reproduce into two cells, right? And then mistakes start to happen. Here you could see something was being fixed because it can happen, right? But this is cancer. There's a mutation in the genetic makeup of a cell and that's the coded information that says this is what you're supposed to do every cell is specific so you have lung cells skin cells brain cells stomach cells right cancer doesn't obey that if you're cancer you're cancer and that means you'll go wherever you want if you have the opportunity okay so i'll go back to the videos in a minute these are other things that can trigger the mutations of DNA. So besides the cell cycle, things can happen to you that can trigger mutations in your, in your genetic makeup and cause cancer. What are they? Smoking, definitely. And it's, I put a picture, whoops, I put a picture of cigarettes, well, I already, but anything you smoke, cigarettes, tobacco, we don't know what the, Oh, of course vapes are gonna cause but yes have incomplete burning of carbon or carcinogens and that leads to cancer what else uh, radiation in general so solar rays what else look at the pictures they should guide you viruses cause cancer age Bacteria. What else? Genetic makeup. <laughs> Melanie's just on a roll. Yeah. So the older you get, the 
not necessarily. Just age can be a contributor. So you could be young and your cells reproduce rapidly, okay? But yes, it could be either way. Just age in general is a factor sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then your immune system, okay, are things that can affect cancer formation. So some people have genes in their body that are already programmed to say you're going to form cancer. Overview, overview on normal cells versus cancer cells. Normal cells reproduce themselves exactly. There's a signal in normal cells that says stop reproducing now. There's a signal that says let's stay together because we are stomach cells and this is all we're going to go to. And then there's a signal that says this cell is not good. Destroy it, right? And they're called specialized cells, okay? Cancer, they don't die. They can go anywhere. They never stop reproducing. They don't listen to any of the signals from the surrounding cells. They don't stick together, and they're not specialized, okay? So you, this, one, this I guess, is, I can't see. Yeah, this is signaling a cancer cell where it's supposed to be lined up and organized. It's going to take off wherever it wants to, okay? Not good. Here are some facts about cancer. So whenever you're diagnosed with cancer, that's called primary cancer, and it's where it begins. So the reason they do this is because they have been able to discover that there are certain forms of cancer that are aggressive, which means they're going to travel, okay? And that's called metastasizing. So if you have breast cancer, if you die of cancer in the lung, your, your death certificate will say breast cancer was the cause of death. Because you started with breast cancer and then it, it metastasized. They want to know so they could keep track of cancers and how fast they metastasize. Um, metastasize is when you're your cancer ends up traveling. So here's cancer in, an in a large intestine or the colon. And then if it goes into the bloodstream and it ends up somewhere else, so this is the first tumor, this is the second tumor, that's called metastasizing. You have cancer in two separate parts of your body. And, but remember that wherever it starts is the primary uh, factor or the, the primary cause of death or the contributor of illness, let's say, because we hope to... So symptoms, excessive bleeding, pain. Pain should not be part of your body. Pain is an indicator that something is wrong. Always remember that. Any lumps, lumps, like a lump, oh, oh, I think a like lump, bump, abnormal, not, not smooth, right? And then you could read through all these, but anytime something does not seem right in your body, you should definitely check it out. Cancer stages. Okay, now this is going to start to sound familiar if you've had family members or you're familiar with cancer. When you get cancer, there's three letters that they're going to call it. They're going to call it T, N, or M. T means your cancer is in a tumor. Right here is a tumor. N means nodes. That means it's starting to spread. It's still in a localized area, but it looks like the spider now. Okay, it's, instead of a tumor, the spider look is happening. And then metastasize means I see a tumor here, I see a tumor here. That means spreading. And then you look at the stages. There's a stage one through four, one meaning small. So you get the word T1, that's good news, right? Cancer sucks, bad news. T1 means you've got the first stage or the smallest tumor of cancer. You get a, a word like M4 you're going to go through some aggressive types of treatment, right? These are tests you can have, okay? X-rays, bone scans, nuclear scans, a PET scan, all these types of CT scan. These are treatments. You can have cancer drugs, radiotherapy, surgery to remove, and then other kind of treatments. I would try them all. Be a fighter. Okay.